if we're going to try to find out how many factors a number it has, we can list them all out, but sometimes that's super inconvenient. So I'm going to show you a shortcut that we use a lot in math competitions. So the first thing is you want to prime factor the number. So I'm going to prime factor 1050. Once you've prime factored the number, what you're going to be thinking about is ways that you can combine these numbers. So if you kind of notice, if 2 times 3 times 5 squared times 7 multiplies to equal 1050, any combination of these could be a factor. So we could have a 2 times a 3, which means 6 would be one of the factors. We could have a 3 times a 5 times a 7. That would be one of the factors, 105. We could have a 3 times a 7, 21. Okay, any combination here, we can use any of the numbers or none of them, and that gets a factor. So with that in mind, we're going to use something called the multiplication counting principle to figure out the final number of factors. Okay, so what we want to know is when we're looking at just the 2s to, it, to itself, we could have 2 to the 0 or 2 to the 1st. So we don't have to include any of the 2s, but we could include 1. We could include no 3s, but we could also include up to 1 3. We could include no 5s or 1 5, or this time we could have 2 5s. We could have 5 squared in there. For 7s, we could have no 7s or just 1 7 here. So if you notice, we have two different ways to pick from the 2s, two different ways to pick from the 3s, three different ways to pick from the 5s, in two different ways to pick from the sevens, including none, some, or all of them. So using the multiplication counting principle, any combinations we can have, we can multiply these possibilities, 2 times 2 times 3 times 2, to get there are 24 total factors of 1,050. And yes, we could list them all out to confirm that. So just a recap, when you're trying to use the prime factorization to find the number of factors, you would prime factor the number using exponents. You can add one to each of the exponents because that includes that possibility of using the zeroth power, and then you can multiply these new numbers. So if I go back to my example, you can see my original exponents, I had this invisible one, so now that's a 2 that I'm multiplying. This invisible 1, that's a 2. This, invis this 2 became a 3. This invisible one became a 2, and we multiplied those new numbers.